what could be a historic deal and bring hundreds of jobs to the mountains has just been put at risk. North Carolina lawmakers have voted against renewing millions of dollars worth of economic incentive money. Local officials say it was key to luring a major new company to Buncombe County. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us. This project is in its final stages, Ashley. That's right. It's not a done deal yet, but it's late in the game. And that's why legislators pulling back on incentives that local officials were already promising to this company is especially worrisome. The companies include Asheville's Linamar, where President Obama made a stop. He went to AB Tech, took a class in automated machining. And GE Aviation, which brought dozens of jobs to the area. Both of them, as part of the deal to come here, snapped up incentive money, which is now dried up. The funding cap is being reached in some of the incentive programs at the state level, and without an increase, there are projects that we're currently working with that would not have access to funds that they otherwise would. For Buncombe County especially, it's bad timing. Officials here are chasing a company that's poised to invest hundreds of millions of dollars into the area, bringing three to four hundred jobs. But that company is also expecting that incentive money. We don't want to lose opportunity and good jobs and an increased tax base simply because one of the tools that we have at the state level is being caught up in uh, unrelated politics. Several weeks ago, lawmakers voted down the bill to amp up the Jobs Development Incentive Grant Program. Officials call it the JDIG program. It was a bipartisan no vote. Some were opposed to incentives on principle, but many were opposed to unrelated legislation that was hooked onto the JDIG bill. The people who were most opposed to that bill are the economic developers in Texas and South Carolina and the states we compete against on a daily basis. Representative Nathan Ramsey voted to pass it. I think some of our members truly didn't understand the consequences of, of the importance of this bill. Ramsey has called the governor multiple times asking for a special session to be called to come back and pass JDIG before it's too late. The ironic thing is we are we already funded this in the budget, so this money is available in the budget. We just needed legislative uh, approval to move forward. Now, local officials said today that this deal is too important to lose, and so they say it might be a scramble, but if this state incentive funding doesn't get passed and in the near future between the city and the county, they'll find the millions to finance it themselves.